like, I am a God. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a God. I just told you, that's who I think I am. In hip hop, calling yourself the greatest is almost a requirement. MC show off their swag, lyrical ability, or flow to gain respect from the listener and other artists. But what happens when you go from calling yourself the GOAT to saying you're a god? We heard the term God MC from the likes of Jay-Z, but there are artists who actually think or at least try to align themselves with divine beings. First, let's get the dictionary definition of a god. Oxford Dictionary in Christianity and Other Monotheistic Religions the creator and ruler of the universe and source of all moral authority, the supreme being. In certain other religions, a superhuman being or spirit worshipped as having power over nature or human fortunes, a deity, a moon god. Now why would an artist who can rhyme words very well and has a certain charisma call themselves a god? Because they may feel like their fans worship them. Many call Jay-Z, also known as Hove, the god MC because he doesn't write down his raps. He memorizes his lyrics and lays them down without a pen or paper. So if a certain religion believes being superhuman classifies you as being a god and Hove can do something only a very few can, then by their definition, he is a god MC. Look, that's okay, but when artists start to believe they are better overall than the common man or woman, then that becomes a problem. There was a point in time in music where the Beatles were considered the most popular act in the world. They were so popular, a member of the group stated they were more influential than Jesus. The Beatles arrived in Japan today as their tour of the Far East continues. Across the Pacific in the United States, a furor is developing over comments John Lennon made. Quote, Christianity will go. It will vanish and shrink. We're more popular than Jesus. Unquote. This is Tommy Charles. If you, as an American teenager, are offended by statements from a group of foreign singers which strike at the very basis of our existence as God-fearing, patriotic citizens, then we urge you to take your Beatle records, pictures, and souvenirs to the pickup points about to be named, and on the night of the Beatles' appearance in Memphis, August 19th, they will be destroyed in a huge public bonfire at a place to be named soon. Stay tuned to Wacky for further development. Well, I think, I think the Beatles are a real talented group, but I think that they need to watch what they say because they're in such a position that a, a lot of teenagers really think of them as something really big. And, and when they say things like that, some teenagers are going to just believe anything they say. If it had said we're more, uh, television is more popular than Jesus, I might have got away with it. <laughs> you know, but as I just happened to be talking to a friend, I used the word Beatles as a remote thing, not as what I think, as Beatles as those, those other Beatles like other people see us. I just said they are, are having more, in, more influence on kids and things than anything else, including Jesus. But I said it in that way, which is the wrong way. Yeah, well, yeah. Many people believe that was the start of the ending to their reign. Here is what the Bible has to say about false gods on earth. 1 John 5.21 Keep yourselves from idols means keep yourselves from trusting, obeying, revering, and following, that is, in effect, worshiping, anyone or anything other than God himself and his son, Jesus Christ. Whether you believe in Christianity or not is a whole other subject, but I am in the understanding that the Bible is a tool to give us guidance to live a good-natured, upright life. As Wu-Tang stated, the Bible stands for the basic instructions before leaving earth. Music companies understand how popular people not just artists, can influence the masses. Elzai, in my opinion, is one of the greatest MCs ever. But if you ask the common man or woman who is Elzai and who's Cardi B, well, that question answers itself. I can go into the whole rise of a black messiah in that rabbit hole, but just know what is placed in front of you is done for a reason. Most people want to be remembered, and if they can align themselves with someone as highly favored as Jesus, then why wouldn't they? Tupac, Kendrick, even Three Six Mafia have depicted themselves as Yahshua. All for their own reasons, of course. J. Cole wrote a song called False Prophets, which encapsulates this entire video in a rhyme. I would go check it out. But in short, 
we're all human and to err is human. So when we put all of our faith, our trust into someone who is just like us and they fall short of being a God, then you guessed it, we're disappointed. I suggest that we should learn the rules of the land, scratch that, the rules of the world and respond accordingly. Whether it's corporations or a single entity that's trying to lobby for your attention and ultimately your soul, I would be very cautious. I believe we're all gods in some way. We can take and create life and we can bring thoughts into a physical world for others like us to enjoy and or motivate. Michael Jordan is a god in the basketball world. Jay-Z is a god in the hip hop world. And some believe Obama or even Trump is a god in the political world. In any case, I would be weary of who the media puts in front of you as a savior. They could be leading you straight to hell. I wanna thank you for watching another episode. And until next time, Enjoy the music.